What's up everyone? So today is going to be a chill out session. It's going to be just one on one, heart to heart kind of talk. And it's about something that I've been feeling like in and out of my life and probably something that a lot of people can relate to, um, which is, yeah, not feeling good enough about yourself about what you do and that kind of stuff so let's just dive right in so yeah um, I'm just gonna talk about more to it people who are like pursuing their passion it could be a musician singer photographer videographer youtuber dancer or being an athlete like actually it can be applied to anyone you know at some point in your life you will definitely feel this way you definitely feel like you're just not good enough for people you know you could be like at the top you could be like someone who is just starting out or you could be someone who has been trying for years in the middle you know and everyone will face different types of challenges people who are at the top will be faced with a lot of pressure to keep up with their game uh, to maintain or even to you know break new ground it's going to be extremely difficult and people who are just starting out it's going to be very difficult to overcome learning a new skill, a new passion. So really everyone has different set of challenges and everyone will in some point in their life just feel that you're not good enough. So yeah, um, for all those who are feeling this way, like know that you're not alone. Everyone goes through this, including myself. So I'm with you. Okay, we're on the same boat. We all can overcome this together. We're on this together. Yeah, in my opinion, Basically, there are two scenarios. So the first scenario is where maybe, okay, you've been trying, say, singing or filmmaking uh, for, for years, right? You've been doing it already and you reached a point where you feel that, you know, you're just not up there, you know, you're just not at the professional level, you know, you're just not at the top or you're just not one of the best, you're like in the middle and, you know, you just, just feel that you're not good enough and most of the time, like, this situation is more of like perspective like in your mind that you think that you're not good enough um, and the, the only way to overcome this is to change your whole perspective so I would say just try to think of how far you've actually come and you'll realize that yeah like you know if you count back one year ago two years ago where you came from and where you are right now like if you see improvement, if you see growth, you realize that it's not that bad. You're, you're not stuck. You are, you have been constantly improving just that you don't realize it. And you're just at this small little point where you just feel stuck. But uh, you know, if you look at the big picture, like all of us will have somehow uh, made improvements um, from when we were. Like for me, definitely when I feel this way and I look back, the person that I am three years ago, one year ago, is really different like the way we deal with things not just in the skills not just for me as a filmmaker or singer or whatever musician definitely like there's some growth and improvement and if you are making progress then it's a good thing already you are moving forward so you have to look at it as a whole journey and not just a destination it's a journey of a lifetime right very corny very cheesy but it's kind of true like you know if, if you love something you just do it for life so sometimes you don't have to keep on rushing to get to the top but instead just focus on the journey focus on progress and yourself your improvement in your own way so try not to compare yourself to other people like it will never do any good by comparing yourself to other people because you know people at the top they will compare to someone who is better there will always be someone that's better than you so don't compare, just compare yourself with your present and your past. That's the only comparison that you should ever do. So yes, on to the next scenario, the second scenario. Okay, the world is very harsh. It, it works that way, okay? And sometimes you, we are actually just not good enough. We're just like, shit! So, <laughs> um, actually, the, the solution is quite simple. Like, just as everyone has already said, like, just keep doing it. Just do! So, I would say keep finishing, keep doing, like say, okay, if you're into like filmmaking or YouTube, whatever, and just keep doing videos. Keep doing and finishing videos. If you're into songwriting, for example, you just have to keep finishing a song. Song after song, you just have to 
finish it. Like, don't leave it halfway once you have started. Like, and, and just throw it away because you have to go through the whole process of starting and finishing a project. Whether you know it turns out like shit. Sometimes we work on something, we feel it's great, and then suddenly in the middle, like you know, like it, it feels like shit. So like, we still have to finish it, no matter what. And whether you want to show it online, it's up to you. But I would say just show it online and or show it to some friends, get some constructive. Uh, criticism and it would really help you to know where you are lacking in okay I know a lot of people say this already but really you just have to do because when you do you stop thinking that you're not good enough when you're in the do zone you're just focused on like doing it instead of thinking and with project after project you'll find that you know you're making mistakes there's always something to improve on and it, it's good it's good like you would always be improving from project to project when you finish one after another and you'll just only get better and better. So one more point that I forgot to mention is that, you know, if you're feeling that you're stuck in a rut, you don't know what to do to progress, um, you can always try and be open to trying new things, right? And, and when you try something new, it will just motivate you and just make you feel a bit more excited rather than doing the same thing over and over again. Yeah, go out and, and try something new. Like for me, my older travel videos were just music over the, the footages and I, I needed to do something new and different. So I just tried vlogging and even though vlogging is not my strength, like I'm not comfortable with talking to the camera at, at the beginning. Um, but, you know, I did it anyway. And um, I think that kind of just helped to tell a better story, to be able to connect better rather than just footages over mu music over footages so um, yeah you'll never know like what kind of like possibility you can unlock when you try new things and putting them into your um, craft and stuff like that so so yes like it's actually pretty simple but I think it's easier said than done lah huh right like <laughs> look at me but I guess this is something for me to just remind myself or just for me to talk about it I'm here to give you a hug and tell you that it's okay, it's good, you are good enough. You just have to do, okay, and change the perspective of seeing how far you've come. So that's kind of like pretty much about it. Pretty simple, but um, I guess we just need reminders like this lah. Yeah, if you do like this video, you know what to do, give me a thumbs up. You can follow me on my Instagram, that's where I update the most. Thanks for watching. Again, don't forget to subscribe for more music and travel videos <coughs> and I will see you on the next video.